Hey, my name is Dan. I used to work at the biggest dealership in the country and now I teach fine folks like you how not to get fucked when buying a car. And oh boy, we're gonna be talking about some real fucking in this video. This is gonna be worse than vacation at Kevin Spacey's house for any teenager. Okay, let's, uh, let's get started. So I was helping somebody to find a car. Just helping them out, just being a good fucking guy. So they're looking at uh, this car here. It looks pretty decent. So this is 2018 Chevy Traverse, front wheel drive. I'm gonna call that $25,000 and it has 10,000 miles. I know you can't see it, but it's 10,000 miles. Just, just trust me on this one. Okay, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you actually a bit later. It's 10,000 miles. Okay, looks pretty good. However, it has a rebuilt title. So I did a little bit of digging around. I put on my big Sherlock Holmes hat. Do you wanna know a little bit about this car? Let, let's see if we can find how much this car sold for, how many miles it has. It has 10,000 uh, miles, and what the damage is on the car. Voila! Because I was in the business, I was able to find this. And guys, I teach all this shit, how to find uh, more information about cars that our dealers are not providing you in my course, 60minutecar.com. Look at that VIN. Look at the final bid. $11,500 plus $500 auction fees. I'm going to call that $12,000. So we're going to call this $12,000 deal from an auction. So it, it was hit in the back. It needs a rear door, bumper, blah, 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 some minor shit. This, this, is, this is nothing serious, okay? Replacing a fucking door, you don't need to be a fucking scientist to do that. You're replacing a fucking door. You buy a new fucking rear door, put that shit on, paint it white, good to go. That's it, okay? This, this isn't some kind of crazy fucking rollover or crazy accident. or right? Some idiot just backed into them. That's it. What's the price difference between... $12,000 right here, okay, and twenty-five, dollars which they're selling this for. Mm. I'm not a scientist, again, not a scientist, but it looks to be $13,000. Do you think this is $13,000 worth of repairs? I'm going to take a drink, okay, and you tell me. All right, guys, that's not $13,000 of repairs. This isn't. If you know how to repair cars, this is not $13,000. Of repairs and they do know how to repair cars because that's their fucking business they're doing it five days a week they're doing it that's their business this is not some random guy who just bought a car fixed it up in his fucking backyard this is a dealership how much profit is there it was only a few thousand dollars to fix this shit this is not something that's that's fucking giant big ass repair be careful when you're buying rebuilt title cars be careful don't get fucking screwed do you want to know how much this car here sold in good condition. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. In good condition, no accidents, no damage, clean title, 14,000 miles. This thing, again, look at this shit, $24,000. This thing is even less money, $24,000. 24, $24,000, clean title, no accidents, no damage, $24,000. What fucking idiot is going to buy that white car? with rebuilt fucking title or whatever the fuck uh, sell, rebuilt or whatever it's going to be damaged or uh, structural damage whatever the fuck is going on who's going to buy it for 25 fucking grand I, I'm not sure what, what uh, uh, full disclosure I am not 100% sure what the situation on the title is here because I was just so pissed off I didn't even get it from the fucking dealership I think this is rebuilt title so car like this that was sold for $12,000 to start with, the, with a couple of thousand dollars of repairs, selling for $25,000. A car with no accidents, no damage, clean title, 14,000 miles, is selling for $24,000. Be fucking very careful. I have no problem with buying rebuilt title cars. If you want to buy a rebuilt title car, hit me up. I'll connect you with some good people that can do that for you. They'll, they'll buy the car, they'll fix it for you. All you got to do is just pay for it. Guys, be careful. There's a lot of fucking dealerships that are trying to scam people. And when I say a lot, I'm talking about 99%. 99% of dealerships are shitbags. They will take advantage of you. Guys, they make insane amount of fucking money. Insane. If, if this dealership is only making $5,000 per car, and they're selling an average of 30 cars a month, which is not a lot. This isn't a lot. It's just 30, 000, 30 cars a month. 5,000 times 30, what, what, what are we at? Oh, $150,000 a fucking year? That, that, that's fucking amazing. Guys, you could be ugly, you could be an asshole, you could be retarded. Start a dealership and you'll still make money. 
It doesn't take a fucking scientist. You don't need to be good at anything to be starting a dealership and be, and be fucking scamming people left and right. Maybe, maybe that's why car dealerships attract such a piece of shit people because you need zero fucking skills. You got a little bit of money, start buying fucking cars and reselling them. It's not a very high skill fucking job. You're not a doctor, you're not a fucking engineer, you're not a scientist. You know, you don't need to be going to college or school for it. Get a license and just start being a piece of shit. Now, for those of you that do want to buy a rebuilt title car, don't be buying that shit and overpaying for it. It needs to be 30% below market price. Not below KBB, not below MSRP. 30% what everybody else is selling this thing for. So if this thing is selling for brand new, no accidents, no, not brand new, but no accidents, no damage, clean Carfax, uh, clean title, uh, 14,000 miles for $24,000, 30% below that, what, what are we at? It needs to be selling for $17,000. That's a realistic amount of money that you should be paying for. If you don't want to do the work yourself, blah, 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 all that shit. But if you want to do the work yourself, buy a car from an auction, and yes, I teach all that stuff in a uh, training program on 60minutecar.com. You can do that yourself and save thousands of dollars. The only thing is you got to know what the fuck you're doing. You got to know how to, where or how you're going to repaint this thing, where and how you're going to get the parts, who is going to do the repairs. If you got a garage, if, you, if you're a, a savvy mechanic, you, you should be buying cars from auctions. I'm just saying. Huge thank you for watching this video. Click here to subscribe, watch one of those two videos and click the share button below the video. Did you enjoy the video? Did you find it useful? Do you think you're gonna save some money with it? Absolutely, fucking lutely you will. Share this video on Facebook with somebody else. This is Dan Strong with 60 Minute Car. I'm signing out and I'll see you in another video.